And all systems go here at Anfield ahead of what should be an enthralling night of football. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool up against Crystal Palace. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Explosive attacking qualities can be so important. Look no further than Mo Salah. Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Thiago. Good-looking ball. Well read to ease the pressure. Takes the shot. Well, the keeper committed himself. And he's fired over the corner. Not messing around with that clearance. Henderson. Clean challenge. Fabinho. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Jeffrey Schlup. Kouyase now. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. Are you? The referee is given a corner. Delivering it, and clearing it away. Anderson. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Zaha cuts it back. And Liverpool come away with it. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? He's trying to create something. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. nil then Kuyase and taking it away Fabinho Sala and he's taken it away Jeffrey Schlup, can they trouble the opposition this time? 
but nothing comes of it. Salah. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Well, half-time fast approaching with Liverpool on top. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen from them? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Darwin Nunez. Here is Thiago. It might be! Well, wide in the end, albeit narrowly. Mitchell. Wilfred Zaha. Mitchell. And Zaha has it. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. No more time left. First half is over here at Anfield. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was certainly a good first 45... And the second half underway. Liverpool looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Matip. Nunez. And Diaz has it. Fabinho. It's gone in. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Well, a second goal for them here. Liverpool have given it away. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Darwin Nunez. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, it fizzled out. Are you? Jean-Philippe Mateta. Are you? Now this could really lift spirits. Can he find the net? And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Well, they've decided to make a change. And over comes the corner. High 
class defending right on the goal line. But he took care of it defensively. Mitchell. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Into the final 20 minutes. Good work from Palace to win back possession. Benteke. And he read it well defensively. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, very close to the end of this game and a performance Liverpool fans are going to remember fondly. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Conor Gallagher. Are you? Could reduce the deficit. He had to react and did. Can they hit on the break? Chances on. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Will he finish? There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Five minutes left. Anderson. Kuyate. Kuyate. And options in the centre. Read it superbly to take back possession. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Oh, big chance! And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Benteke, Kuyate, now Christian Benteke, Zaha, and that is all for this game anyway, it goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Well Derek, what a good performance that was, they did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge, that was a really dominant display from them today. Well, whatever way you look at it, a fine display from Trent Alexander-Arnold. What did you make of his contribution? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was.